A stunning onslaught by Ricky Vessels put Nottinghamshire in charge at Trent Bridge. After Sussex's bowlers toiled, their batsmen collapsed late in the day. Knotts were looking to make it three wins out of three in Division 2 and welcomed Stuart Broad back into the side. Sussex had lost their opening match to Kent and were without South African signing Vernon Philander sidelined with a groin strain. The visitors elected to bowl first. Knotts opener Jake Libby made a bright start with a couple of early boundaries, but his partner didn't fare so well. Greg Smith falling to Philander's replacement Steve McGoffin, Laurie Evans taking the catch to leave the home side 14 for one. Samet Patel emphatically announced his arrival, but McGoffin took 12 wickets on his last appearance at Trent Bridge, and the Australian soon struck again. Patel caught behind by Ben Brown to leave the Division II pace setters in trouble at 22 for two. Knott's revival was led by Alex Hales, who was soon dispatching the ball to all parts in familiar fashion. Along with Libby, the England star added 60 for the third wicket before he fell to Jofra Archer, caught behind for 45 off 39 balls. And the highly rated Archer struck again to send back Libby, LBW for 21, and the home side were back in bother. Ricky Vessels clearly meant business, but McGoffin weighed in again in the next over removing Michael Lum for just a single, and Knotts were 88 for five. A situation that skipper Chris Reed took in his stride, as he and Vessels posted the morning session's second 50 partnership, Knotts 142 for five at the interval. That added just 10 to that total when Reed played on to become McGoffin's fourth victim of the day. Now Nottinghamshire's hopes rested squarely with Vessels, who reached his half-century before McGoffin struck again. James Pattinson caught behind, and the Australian paceman had figures of 5 for 40. At 180 for 7, Vessels was joined by Broad, and suddenly batting started to look much easier. The pair guided knots through to their first batting point, but they were just getting started. They put on 82 in little more than 10 overs, but though they did ride their luck at times, Broad dropped at first slip off Archer. Vessels led the charge, reaching his century from 89 balls with 12 fours and three sixes. Broad wasn't far behind, reaching his second half century in as many matches before he fell to Stuart Whittingham for 57 to break a superb partnership of 132. Luke Fletcher joined Vessels, who was now in unstoppable mood. At T, he was unbeaten on 150, and Knotts were 362 for eight, and in a very healthy position indeed. One they made even more dominant in the evening session, with Vessels imperious, even after Fletcher went LBW to Van Zyl. Jake Ball kept up his end in some style to help Vessels pile on the runs, eventually reaching his maiden first-class double century. He was left on 202 not out when Ball was the last man to go, bowled by Archer for 18. Knotts 447 all out, and Sussex left with a tricky six overs to negotiate. They didn't manage it, losing three wickets with the score on seven. Nash, Finch and Whittingham the men dismissed, with two wickets to Pattinson and one to Broad. They'd struggled to 11 for three at stumps, not in complete control at the end of day one. It's already hard to bet against them extending their perfect start to life in Division 2 in the days ahead.